hello students welcome all of you for the session of construction management and entrepreneurship in today's session we'll be going to discuss a topic on module 3 that is ethics and human values so let's start with the ethics now what is the ethics ethics can be defined as the branch of philosophy that defines what is good for the individual and for society and establishes the nature of obligations or duties that people owe themselves and one another it involves defining analyzing evaluating and resolving the moral problems and developing the moral criteria to guide human behavior so the ethics tells about the behavior of a person moral principle honesty responsibilities choice values integrity so once how the human behaves or manners in front of the society it depends upon his ethics now what are the aspects and significance of ethics coming to the aspects there are two aspects of the ethics the first involves the ability to discern the right from wrong good from evil and proprietary from impropriety the second one involves the commitment to do what is right good and proper ethics entails the action now what are the significance of ethics it sets or establishes the moral standards or norms of behavior it suggests the moral behavior prescribes the recommendations about do's and don'ts ethics create the credibility and image for the corporations with the public and also it improves the employee morale and enhances the credibility of the management with the employees now let's study about the benefits of the ethics at the workplace now as a professional if you are working at a place how the ethics will be a beneficial to you in what way it can be helpful for you so it brings the discipline and order it improves and strengthens the relationship among whom among the superiors peers that is your colleagues and subordinates it enhances the commitment and accountability of the top managers and work ethics promotes the teamwork and productivity as employees feel a strong alignment between their values and those of the organization ethics at workplace helps the manage value associated with the quality management strategic planning and diversity management ethical value build socially responsible business and commercially successful ethics programs support the employee growth and also more emotionally in context now let's discuss about the morale what are the morals morale or the morals are the standards norms and principles for rights and wrong concepts they are the standards that help to guide the behavior these issues related to these standards are based on science and logic now what all these includes respecting others and ourselves respecting the rights of others keeping the promises avoiding unnecessary problems to others and avoid the cheatings and dishonesty showing the gratitude to others and encouraging them to a work now if we see the difference between ethics and morality ethics is rooted from the greek meaning custom or common practice whereas the morality is an a latin word meaning custom or habit or way of life that is which focuses on the individual person ethics focuses on the common practices the rule of conduct recognized in respect to a particular class of women or a particular group culture whereas the principles or habits with respect to the right or wrong is clarified by the morality it defines how things should work according to an individual's ideals or principles ethics refers only to the professional behavior whereas ref morality refers only to the personal behavior ethics refers to the examination justification critical analysis of morality 
whereas the morality refers to the values and beliefs among what is right and wrong, good and bad, just and unjust. Ethics generally it is a uniform, whereas the moral may vary from society to society and culture to culture. The ethics mainly thrusts, it influences, educates, trainings through the codes, guidelines and corrections, whereas the morality thrusts and its urges through the judgment and punishment in the name of God or by the laws. Some of the example of ethics are notions or beliefs about the tastes, customs and towards laws. Some of the examples for the morality, character flaw, corruption, extortion or maybe the crime also. Now what is the professional ethics? Professional ethics is a codified formal system or set of rules which are explicitly adopted by a group of people. It encompasses how professionals should behave in their professional work and how they conduct themselves. Now coming to the objectives of the professional ethics, there is will be improvement of the cognitive skills, that is the thinking skills, knowledge realistic skills, learning skills, creative skills, and cognient moral reasoning, moral communication to express and support one's views to others, to act morally desirable ways towards a moral commitment and responsible conduct, willing and able to morally responsible, respect for persons, tolerance of diversity and integrity. Now coming to the characteristics of professional ethics, it is based on the certain ethical values which a professional has to follow, maybe which speaks about the managing values and conflicts among the professionals and also it includes in a workplace everyone working as a team to help each other and remain ethical at work. There may be the maximization in profit, expanding the market shares, can be very strong in the influencing on morality, laws, regulations are very much influenced behavior to be more ethical by the professional ethics. Now coming to the engineering ethics, it is the term is interchangeable with engineering ethics or the professional ethics. It deals with the moral issues and discussions confronting individual or organization engaged in the engineering. Now what are the objectives of engineering ethics? To understand the moral values that ought to guide the engineering profession which resolves the moral issues in the profession. To justify the moral judgment concerning the profession and also it develops a set of beliefs, attitudes, habits that engineers should display concerning the morality. It also increases the ability to deal effectively with moral complexity in engineering practice. Now what all skills has to be included in the engineering ethics? A person if he is an engineer, what a skill he has to adopt if you want to be an ethical engineer? One is moral awareness, moral coherence, moral imagination, moral communication, moral res reasonableness, respect for persons, tolerance of diversity, integrity. So he should be a proficiency in recognizing the problems and issues in engineering. He should be consistent and comprehensive based on the consideration of the relevant facts. And he should always discerning the alternative responses to the problems and solutions from the practical difficulties. And always he has to use the ethical language to express and support one moral views adequately to others. And he should be genuine in concern for the well-being of others as well as oneself and maintaining the moral integrity, one's professional life and personal convictions. Next is the values. Values are the rules by which we make decisions about right and wrong, should or shouldn't and good or bad. The word value expresses the quality significance we assign to ideas feeling, activities and experiences. Values are the evaluative standards we use for deciding what is wrong and what is bad, what is good, what is right. 
what is desirable what is undesirable the quality of living space we create for ourselves is determined by our system of value now let's discuss about what are the human values and what are the moral values Mar moral values matters of right and wrong whereas human values helps a person to distinguish between right and wrong moral values are constant and unchanging where human values changes from person to person and from time to time moral values are for self development and self discipline whereas human values are about how we treat others in society moral values can be thought whereas human values are inherited values and are intact in all of us so the moral values can be preached can be thought in the society whereas the human values it is inherent it depends upon the human character how he behave on that conditions the values will depend next is integrity integrity is one of the core qualities that any professional practitioners should possess it also refers to the honesty and open mindedness either with oneself or others mostly integrity involves the dis discovery of truth and its communication now what are the essentials required by an engineer to be an integrity or what all works will be there where the integrity is required engineering research and testing in the use of intellectual property client professional confidentiality expert testimonials and failure to inform the public so in all these cases you should be a honest or open minded otherwise you will fail and indirectly the society will fail so next is conflicts of interest conflicts of interest are the situation where professionally have self interest if self interest is given importance it may keep them away from meeting their obligations to their employers or clients that is the conflict of interest occurs when the employee has more than one interest it it can be stated as a conflict of interest occur when the independent judgment of a person is swayed or taken out or might be swayed from making the decisions in the best interest of others who are relying on that judgment so in this picture you can see the interest of the this animal is towards this whereas the interest of this uh, animal is towards this object but this person is trying to sway away from them okay so such conditions arises what we call it as the conflict of interest now what are what are the various types of conflicts of interest actual conflict of interest potential conflict of interest apparent conflict of interest interest in other companies moonlighting insider information now actual conflict of interest is based on the weaker judgment and service it refers to the loss of objectivity in decision making and inability to faithful discharge professional duties to employer now coming to the potential conflicts of interest these are the situation where the interest of an employee extends beyond the current employer and into the interest of one supposed spouse relate your friend so maybe the bribes or the gifts where a bribe is a substantial amount of money or the goods offered beyond a stated business contract with the aim of winning an advantage whereas the gifts are the riot bribes as long as they are small gratitude offered in the normal conducts of the business engineer should not accept the money directly or indirectly from contractors or the agents in the connection with the work this is one of the guidelines if one receives any gifts which will be cause an embarrassing consequences for company when made public then the gift is considered as a bribe now next is apparent conflict of interest it may occur when an engineer is paid based on the percentage of the cost of design and there is no incentive for him to the cut costs in situations it appears that engineer is making the design more expensive in order to make a large commission for himself then when we call as the interest in other companies when working as an employer or a consultant for the competitor or subcontractor and partially ownership or the last stack holding in the business of competitors now moonlighting deals with a person who is working in two companies this will break the rights to pursue a person's interest thank you